Well I remember when I first saw thee, Hannah, thou wert sweet as the rose, fair as Diana, and thy brow like the marble was shining and fair, richly decked with thy ringlets of bright auburn hair. Thou wert lovely and loving, beloved by all, young and old smiled to greet thee at banquet and bowl. Thy teeth were like pearls of the deep ocean grave, neatly set in the mouth of a pure coral cave. Thy voice was the sweets that swelled through the hole, like some soft fairy lute on our ears it did fall. Thy step was the lightest in the grey promenade, and the young men all thought thee a beautiful maid. But the cold-hearted spoiler, ah, woe be his doom, to blight such a flower in the pride of its bloom. Like a thief in the night he stole to thy bower, and the dew of rank poison down on thee did shower. Ah, his words they were sweet, and thy heart it was young, and dreamed not that poison slept under his tongue. He knew thou didst love him, and thy fair hand he pressed, then thou gavest him the heart that beat high in thy breast. Ah, how changed now the scenes from those once happy years, for sweet songs you give sighs, and for smiles you give tears. Now the dark cup of sorrow embitters thy life, to a hard-hearted drunkard, ah, thou art a wife and thy face, once so lovely, is sallow and pale, as the sun-sickened lily that droops in the vale, and thy cheeks, once like roses, are washed white with tears, yea, thou look'st like to one that is furrowed with years. O'er thy brow, once so bright, a dark care-cloud is cast, and no trace can we find of the beauty that's past. Thine eyes have grown hollow and so death-like to view, they have lost all their luster of bright azure blue and thy tall slender form is nigh bent to the ground, and thy voice hath lost all its sweet musical sound, and the pale face of famine looks forth in despair, through the torn tattered garments thou art doomed now to wear. Ah, poor Hannah, thou once wert the pride of our land, and how worthy the wooers that sought thy fair hand! But their love to thy bosom no joy could impart, it was falsehood and beauty that won thy young heart. When I look on thee now, and think what thou hast been, when thy young hopes unclouded flew on like a dream, when I see thee a victim by drunkenness cursed, memory seems but a phantom that fancy hath nursed, and that child which so fondly thou holdst to thy breast, unconscious of woe it now slumbers at rest. Should it live unto manhood like its father to turn, ah, far better for thee it were laid neath the urn. For its father's a drunkard, the lone hours of night beholds thee, poor Hannah, sit trembling with fright, and the weak dying embers to ashes decay, whilst thou wait on his coming till dawning of day. Alas, wretched Hannah, how I feel for thy woes, and I long to behold thee in peaceful repose, for thy heart wears a history of heart-rending strife, but death will soon release thee, thou poor drunkard's wife. <laughs>